Hey guys, it's Lana. I just wanted to hop on and talk to y'all a little bit about what the Lord's been speaking to me. Um, so I started back, I posted a video about Julie and how she'd invited me um, to her class and how it just sparked a fire back in me of uh, what the enemy stole out of me in, I don't know what year that was, uh, 2014 when Cameron was sick uh, or diagnosed with type one and there just was no time for what I was passionate about. Um, at that time, you know, my focuses had to change and that's seasons, we go through them and they shift. But the Lord had been speaking to me that the winds of change were blowing. And um, so to say I've entered that and I'm seeing everyone stepping over into that is an understatement. But last night, Sam and I sat down to study um, her um, literature Pilgrim's Progress, and one of the verses was the one I'm about to share with you guys, and the Lord reminded me of a sermon Jeremy Pearson's preached on this. Um, it was titled Fit by Forty, and this is the scripture, the King James Version, and Jesus said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God, Luke 9, 9 62. The Amplified says, Jesus said to him, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back to the things behind is fit for the kingdom of God. And so the Lord started dealing with me about this. He said, Lana, I want you to get fit. I want you to get fit. And um, I knew, of course, uh, I've been working out and stuff, so I knew he wasn't just talking about that. He was talking about fit with my passion, which was the, um, the Pilates and everything. And when he said it, um, but he said, don't look back. I knew he didn't want me to look back at, at where I was in 2014. And he's been talking to me about being fit for, for his kingdom. And so there's a level of fitness we have to get to where we are just walking and moving with him and things just fall away. People, things, circumstances. Um, we have to be willing to let them go because it's, it's changing. And um, he's, he's taking us and we're growing and we have to be able to move with him. If we look back to those things and those people and what was, we're not fit for the kingdom. And so the Lord's been dealing with me this. He's like, Lana, you're called to ministry. You're going to have to move with me. Uh, because I, I did go to him and ask, gosh, Lord, it just seems like, you know, um, everywhere I turn, um, either I get booted out of that or it doesn't work anymore or I feel like it's being forced to work or even with groups of people, even church, all these different things. And the Lord said, I just want you to move with me. And I was like, okay. And when he, when I read this scripture with Sam and we were studying it for Pilgrim's Progress, I mean, it just became rhema to me that Jesus said, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. And so as we plow forward, there is no option to look back there. There is no option to say, could we have done it differently? Could it have been different? Could Should we go back? I mean... You know, um, as Jeff left his job, I know that some of the temptations at times was, should you have left? Should we go back? Was that better? But over here, we're walking on faith, right? And the Lord said, don't look back. Don't look back. I'm taking you to more. I'm taking you to deeper. And the same thing when I, he reignited this in me, I felt a little bit of just um, heaviness with, well, where I was back then was so much physically fit wise and health wise was seemed better than where I am now and I just heard the Lord say don't look back you weren't fit for the kingdom there I, I'm getting you fit for the kingdom and see this thing's bigger than me it's back then it was about my body and about how I looked and you know that's why I did those things but now I'm getting fit for his kingdom I can see him use it in ministry I can see it um, as I lay hands on people with autoimmune diseases and and teach them about the health side of things and the exercise of things, things that I'm passionate about. And the Lord just said, Lana, you weren't fit back there for this, but I'm making you fit. So don't look back. Don't look back because if you look back, you're not fit for this kingdom that I'm taking you to. And that goes with people, with our churches. Um, you know, when God moved me out of a church, um, you know, a while back, it was so hard because... Um, 
I mean, this has been a few years ago when he moved me out of this church, but it was just so hard because I was comfortable, right? And I felt like, well, gosh, am I abandoning it? Am I, is that the right thing? And no, I'm still, I still pray for that church and the pastor there, you know, but um, God had something different for me and I had to be willing to move. And me and some of my friends were just talking about this. You have to be willing to move with him because we're growing and he's got new things and different things. That's how the body works. We're all working together. And so the word says, no man having put his hand to the plow looking back is fit for the kingdom. So if God's calling you away, don't look back. If he's calling you out, don't look back. If he's calling you into the deep, don't look back. You know, I was discussing with a friend at co-op today, ministry. You know, I'm called to ministry, and I've been trying to get plugged in all my life, you know. And I was just wondering, looking back, thinking about times, and I just heard the Lord say, don't look back. Don't look back. You're fit for the kingdom. This has been a process. You have to go through this process, right? We all have to walk through a process. So whatever it is, I just wanted to leave you with that and let that, um, meditate that. See what the Lord is saying to you through that. That no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. And there's a level of fitness we have to do. I mean, I think about if Cameron... Um, had never been diagnosed, would I be where I am? Because my journey has been, I mean, I'm going after that healing. Now, I was sick in body with Hashimoto's, but I wasn't as motivated for myself. I just kind of put myself on the back burner. But when she got diagnosed, I dove in. I was like, Lord, I know you have better. I know that in your word, Jesus healed them all. And he couldn't do mighty works in his own hometown. Not because... It, I mean, he was Jesus, right? But it said because of their unbelief. So my goal has been like, let me get my belief up, Lord. Let me get my faith up. I'm getting, I'm going with you. There's no other option. I know you healed her on that cross, and we're going to see the manifestation on this earth. And as I started doing that, he started talking to me about myself. I want you healed too, Lana. And recently when we went to um, a service, the, the preacher said, when you say, I love you, Jesus, I want you to say back, I love you too, Lana. Because he loves you too, and that's what he's saying back. And sometimes we have to receive that. We have to receive that. And so I've been practicing that. I love you, Lord. And I'll just say it out loud. I love you too, Lana. And so as we go into this new season, the end of Rosh Hashanah is tonight. I feel like this is what the Lord's saying. The winds of change are blowing. Don't look back. If you look back, you won't be fit for the kingdom of God, which is where he's taking us. And kingdom, we know kingdom-minded people, we're bringing, you know, we're ready to bring what God has from heaven to earth. That's what the word says. We're bringing it from heaven to earth, as it is in heaven, on earth. And I've been saying, be it unto me, Lord. And that's the scripture he gave me. Don't look back. So if he's calling you out, don't look back. You won't be fit, but you are fit. I know you're fit. And so don't look back. Keep pumping the weight of the word. Keep staying in ministry. Keep it in your eyes and ears at all times. We're in a really cool time, guys, and the seasons have changed. The winds of change have blown, and God's shifting us. And his kingdom people, his kingdom-minded people, those who just seek him, that's all he wants. He don't want you stuck in a religion or a mindset that it has to be one way. He wants you in relationship. He wants you going to his word and getting it for yourself. And then when he calls you, you can move. Then he can trust you. So that's what it's about. And uh, I just wanted to encourage y'all with that word. It just it just was Rama to me. And sitting with my friend today talking about ministry, and just she lit a fire in me that I'm not going to look back. I'm going forward, and this is a new season, and I'm ready to step in. I believe, God, you are too. So um, y'all meditate, Luke 9, 62. It's a wonderful verse, and if you need some extra studying, look up Jeremy Pearson's Fit by 40. Wonderful sermon on it. And um, I'm actually going to go back and listen to it because I haven't heard it in a while. But the Lord's just been saying it to me all day. Lana, you're 36. You're going to be fit by 40? It's like a question. Are you going to be fit by 40? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be fit by 40. I'm going to be in my ministry by 40. I'm going to be doing what you called me to do by 40. I'm not letting any more demonic delay in my life. I'm not looking back anymore. I'm going forward. And if people have to fall away, if things have to fall away, stuff has to fall away, let it go. I want to be with you, Lord. 
And that's my heart's cry, and I know that's your heart's cry, so just jump on board, guys. The end of Rosh Hashanah, we started year 5779 today, 2019, according to God's calendar. It's a fresh start. Write them down. Write down those goals. By the time you look back next year, God's going to have met them. I decree and declare that. Love you.